Welcome to What's Going Around, a weekly panel discussion where moms share candid stories about health issues their families have encountered. Centric care doctors treat many different illnesses and accidents. It's interesting that nosebleeds are one of those that are really quite common. So as a mom, how do you handle it? When do you go for help? Bloody just seems scary. I've heard you can put an ice pack or something. Actually on the forehead. My mm -hmm. son definitely picks his nose and that's why he has nosebleeds. The booger up there, they just can't <laughs> get. They're like going and digging, They're on and digging. A mission. Yeah, I know the taste of blood from uh, doing that as a kid. My mom was like, "Put your head back." I never knew that you put your head forward. Yeah. I think my nine-year-old sometimes thinks it's cool, <laughs> and, and you can sort of use it like an educational lesson because they're like, "It's coming out of here." But I gotta taste it here, and so you tell them it's all connected and mm -hmm. that good stuff, and like, Your wow, it's so through. cool and red, and <laughs> what a great build the whole teaching them. It's a science yeah. lesson. With the yeah. I'm just blade. taking That's deep good. breaths and trying not to pass <laughs> out. <laughs> But a it is scary. It is. A lot of it's from like dry heat. You know, if it's yeah. cold here, my heat goes on. If it's like. 60 degrees outside. <laughs> so, Mine too. you know, and so that dry heat they're not used to. So Florida Hospital Center Care doctors agree with the moms. What you want to do is tilt your child's head forward, not back, because if it goes back, you could cause them to choke. And then pinch the nostrils together with light pressure. That helps stop the blood flow. But you got to be patient because it can take several minutes.